Hey guys, welcome to story time with Damadi. So today we're going to talk about Black Lives Matter and it is not Black Lives Matter on the perspective of the states. This is Black Lives Matter in Kenya. Apparently in Kenya it is social suicide to be dark. People believe that being dark is a free ticket for you to have low self-esteem. So I'm going to tell you different occasions where people have been profiling me based on my darkness. I'm not saying that I am suffering from low self-esteem as everyone else would expect me to, but this is just to show you that as much as we are fighting other people's battles, there are battles that we are not fighting here at home. So there's this time I was in a conference and I was asked to give the introduction speech. So after the event, some guy followed me then. He was like, huh, I liked your presentation and everything about you. And I was like, thank you. Then he, he goes ahead and tells me, you know, you're one of the few black people I've seen that are able to talk in front of people. Other dark people are busy hosting pity parties somewhere else. Then I was like, okay, fine. I, I don't understand where this negative energy is coming from. And that was not the first time someone came, approached me and told me that. People tend to believe that when you're dark, you can't speak. You can't do anything. You, because you're supposed to be seated at a corner pitying yourself for being dark. Then there's this time I took a friend to an interview. So my friend is dark. She's ext- she's darker than I am, but she's really, really pretty. If you see her, I know you like her. So she, the guy comes to us. Then he asks, um, are you guys coming to the interview? Then we were like, yeah. He says, eh, okay, so... You guys are dark. I I don't think you're going to make it in this interview. Then I was like, okay. I was shocked by how he was bold enough to tell us such things. Then he goes ahead and tells us that he, at the A, when you're dark, you're not supposed to be looking for promotional jobs or jobs that require your face to be seen. You guys are supposed to be at the back. Do you get uh, at the back of the scene? People, dark people are supposed to be programmers, they're supposed to be editors, directors, those are the kind of jobs that you have. But you cannot, you cannot come to a promotional advertisement and expect to be given such a job. Then I was like, hey, okay, me, I don't see, I don't see why, I don't know how, I, I don't know how people take it, but the amount of racial profiling that is in this country is just overwhelming. Being dark is a free ticket for you to get advice from every single person you meet. So these people will meet you and assume that you feel bad about your life or you'll be suicidal or you need help, like literally you need help. There's this guy I greet every single day. Then he comes to me and he's like, well, so you're hardworking. Then I was like, oh, thank you. I didn't know I was hardworking. Then he goes ahead and tells me, Aki, if you are lighter, if you are lighter, you would have been retained in this company. But the fact that you're dark, I don't think you're going to be retained. Then I was like, okay, fine. So people get retained because they are light. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and Tell us your experiences on the comment section. Don't forget to join us every Saturday as we give you stories of the funny experiences that you've been facing. Bye!